Hello again. So I have my Taranis radio here, and as you can see, there's some mods in there. Like uh, nothing is good enough for me as it is. Even the what I be classified as a perfect radio, I still have to get my hands on modifying. So. Uh, I didn't have to shorten these sticks. I just shortened my Futaba rockers in here a little bit So it's a little bit shorter. It's handier for me to reach the max position when I'm flying acromicopters um, A little thing uh, the rocker I added on a tiny bit uh, like a tiny screw because it Kind of gets more grip in there. It's just a little little bits and pieces uh, Modified my uh, module cover. That's from my turn turning Q bot. Fits in there nicely. Neat. Uh, the battery is 2.1 uh, life uh, po po 4 o whatever this thing. Anyway. <laughs> so as you can see the booster, as you can see the booster in here, and I will and I will show you what's inside in there. I left it open for you. So I threw out the connector, one connector from the booster and I wanted to sing the booster in to have a bit more space, not to have a bulky at the back. But then I discovered that the booster is heating up a bit too much for my thinking. So I took it back apart and I mounted a radiator from an old TSCs and then I drilled the holes in there for air ventilation, got from the from the sieve, I got the with a soldering iron uh, sunk it in same as I did in here at the front for a bit more for a bit more air ventilation another thing what what I wanted when I'm turning on the when I'm turning on the Taranis I wanted the booster to turn on I wanted the booster to turn on as well as I'm turned on from the switch switch warning yeah hold on so which switch Oh, this one okay so what I wanted when I'm turning on the main switch uh, I found out I found out where is my that's my ground and I found out I found out another where's my uh, where's my plus is going so when I wanted when I'm turning on the main switch the booster turns on as well but then what happened it started the voltage started going up and down up and down so I checked I, I checked with my tester and the battery was the battery was good uh, full 10 volts but the voltage uh, on the screen that was showing 9.1 and the booster started acting strangely uh, strangely as well so uh, the other solution was to mount this is from the main battery so i had to mount i had to mount to the separate switch to switch on the booster uh, when the booster is not on uh, the range uh, it's still working like it's still transmitting and and, and it's all good but my best guess it loses more than 50% of a range and I, no, no, I tested a little bit I, I didn't do I didn't do a proper test of a range but when I tested a little bit when the booster is not on it loses a lot of a range so the booster have to be on so actually the switch worked out even even great so when I'm not when I'm not flying just setting up the model radio is on I can just knock off knock off the booster so the the only thing I think uh, Taran is missed out is the is the bloody they did make the replaceable they did make the replaceable uh, antennas. This is the five dBi that I was I will be using like constantly. I'd say that gave me that gave me better results on a small test than the seven seven dB patch antennas that you can get, which is the patch is only is only directional. With this one, I could be walking around. I, w I could be walking around like, and I still, and I'm still getting a good range. So with the booster on, there's still some tests to come. Uh, the stand in here is just for is just for bloody holding on, uh, holding on my uh, DIY B quad antenna. There's no mounts in there yet because I'll be I'll be building another B circle antenna once I get some. Once I will get some information. So she'll be good to go and we'll be go bashing FPV. Hi right, folks, there it is. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down, don't hesitate. So I'll see you around shortly. Bye bye.